The stock value of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle was sinking faster than a sack of potatoes. First, they were completely left in the dark regarding Princess Catherine's cancer diagnosis. Then King Charles has been keeping them completely in the dark regarding succession plans. But hey, Meghan's mom got to see Beyonce's mom. That's cool, right? Oh no. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and I'm so excited to announce something major. Guys, I just put it out on Twitter. I dressed up. I put on a coat and tie. I don't do that for a lot of people, but I do it for royalty, and that's because Lady C herself will be on this channel this week in a multi-part series we just taped. Oh my gosh, guys, get excited. We talked about everything. She went through everything because she's got an amazing new book coming out. Her Megan and Harry uh, true story book is expanded edition. Comes into stores tomorrow. Make sure you guys pick up your copy. We'll be telling you all about it tomorrow. Uh, but my goodness, we talked fake pregnancies, titles. What did Megan and Harry know during Catherine's? The Megan's family, the race relation. Oh my God, nothing was off off limits. Even brought up Dan Wooten. We just did all. She's so amazing. I'm so glad we got to speak and you're not going to miss it. In fact, don't skip out on this one. Look at me how dapper I got for Lady C. So honored to have her. If you want to make sure you don't miss it, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for alerts and smash that thumbs up. It was so juicy and so good. We are going to split it up into a few videos, at least two or three. I'm editing them now, but first one will be dropping tomorrow. Stay tuned. This is so much fun and I'm so honored she came. Make sure to pick up her book. The reason I also bring this up is because a lot of what I'm about to talk about now, we sort of allude to in the video in other ways, and it's all connected. And, and before I get to this, uh, you know, this this African American art event that uh, they're at, of course, using as a PR opportunity. Dude, we're up with Beyonce's mom. That's what everyone's picking out. Before we even get there, let's start back because, like I said at the stop of this video, look, Meghan and Harry are not doing very well. Their stock is plummeting. They were completely in the dark on Princess Catherine. What's fascinating is they leaked this out as if, yeah, we were, we we knew, blah blah blah. We were, we uh, uh we privately uh have reached out since, and they left their comment, you know, wishing health and healing for Kate because they wanted to look even more. The reality is though, they had no idea, no idea. They learned about it when the rest of the world did, according to new claims coming in sources. And I can tell you based on our interview coming up, Lady C agrees. There's, they had no idea what was happening. Uh, they knew nothing of can Kate's cancer diagnosis before she released her emotional video. Uh, according to Lady C, and you're gonna hear it from her this week, there was a pressure to release because of the leaked from the leaks from the potential hospital staffers and Meghan and Harry, I don't believe and were the leakers they were in the dark and completely blindsided by the announcement, just like the rest of the world was. They had no idea and only learned of the news around the same time the rest of the world found out. That's what sources are coming in. But again, that hasn't now stopped them from saying, well, they were told about the diagnosis, but in a low risk way, uh, they still have to put themselves out there to make it seem like they're in the loop because that's what they need to do. But the fact of the reality is they are out of the loop. They are not in any loop regarding the royal family. In fact, King Charles is keeping his own succession plans completely secret from Prince Harry. Uh, they are not talking about it at all. Tom uh, Quinn, royal expert and author, said uh, his ailing health prompted him to work on the concrete plan for when it's time to hand over the reins to Prince William. Conversations have been going. Succession planning is highly secret and no one trusts Harry to be a part of it. The simple reason that he feels in, if, uh, in any way slighted or not given what he feels he deserves, he will run straight to the media, is what Quinn says. Factual. I mean, this makes total sense. The line of succession is right here. Here are the next three kings, next two kings after uh, our current king, Charles. Uh, and uh, yeah, Harry, they don't want Harry to be no part of it. And uh, that's not good for their brand. It's not. Uh, he has 0% chance of coming back. We've talked about this before, but that's what's happening. There's no chance. There's now talk that he's no longer uh, obligated to include him in his will. I don't know if I believe that, but that's how serious it is getting. Uh, they are left out of all of these plans. So how are Harry and Meghan trying to bring back attention to themselves when they clearly have the more favorite royal, actual royal, Catherine suffering and dealing with all she's dealing with and the world, uh, you know, sending her all the positivity? 
well, Megan and Harry have to go do more PR events because that's what they do. And so now they're hosting an African-American art event. Oh, I can't wait for you to hear what Lady C brings on about race relations, Megan, and the way she uses it as a weapon. I think she's spot on and you're going to hear that tomorrow. But before we can get to that officially, let's look at this because I wish I had had this when she was here. But yes, they put out a press release. Of course they did. Of course they did. An evening of art from Sussex.com, from the Kinsey Collection of African-American Art and History. Uh, the, the, the That first debuted in SoFi Stadium during the Super Bowl. Ooh. Uh, industry leaders. Not about... There's no, like, actual information about the art itself or the history. It's all about the buzzwords of the fancy, important things to make them look like the clout chasers that they are. Array of industry leaders. Uh, private tour that they got. Uplifting, celebrating the prolific art and culture in the context of Black America to discuss the history and significance of Black art and how our communities can work together to preserve this vital piece of American history. Through this exhibit and other many others, the Kinsey family has enabled millions across the globe to access. And kudos to the Kinsey family in this art exhibit. I'm not trying to shame it, but I think you could have gotten somebody better than Meghan Markle to come parade through it and use it for her own PR advantage, which is what I believe is happening here. Because yes, as we go through the images, there she is, Doria with Tina Knowles, Beyonce's mom and Megan's mom. Oh, two icon, iconic mothers. Ah, that's immediately what all the press is trying to do, is put this out there and show that, see, Megan is royalty, real royalty like Beyonce. And you can see another rich event with a bunch of rich, small fluttering of rich people sitting on weird, uncomfortable museum furniture to sit and discuss and allow Megan to discuss and hear, you know, about art, African art history. Uh, but there it is, as they discuss it, and Megan and Harry help uh, to spotlight it, hugs and, and, and so on as they go through it. Uh, they are doing such good charitable work, aren't they, by showing up and doing good. Uh, a lot of celebrities have gone to this exhibit. I don't understand what this is doing. They... If, they're raising awareness for this clearly very popular art exhibit that was featured during the Super Bowl. Great. Why are Meghan and Harry using it to make it their press, their own press release? That's what's frustrating to me. Just do it and don't post photos about it. But they can't help themselves, can they? They can't help themselves from showing how they're hosting an African American art exhibit. Oh, and Meghan's mom's hanging out with Tina Knowles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. And the timing of all this is just so funny to me because, yeah, here we have uh, uh, Megan's mom, Doria, with the, uh, Tina Knowles. But do we want to associate with Beyonce and Jay-Z right now? As we're getting deep into Diddy Gate, which if you're missing, <laughs> you want to head on over to Popcorn Planet as we get delve into Diddy Gate. Again, innocent until proven guilty. No uh, actual charges yet. But man, as we're uncovering a lot, there's a lot of connections. Now, clearly, we've already reported there doesn't seem to be any connection to Harry and Diddy in a nefarious way. Harry was young. William was there as well. You can see the back of his head. But my point is, optically, uh, it just seems odd. Not, I don't know if I want to hang out with Beyonce's mom right now uh, and connect us in a way to allow theorists out there to try to connect even more of a Diddy Gate connection. But that's seemingly what they're doing here as well. So, look... This is the best they can get. They showed up to host an African art exhibit, which I'm sure would, would accept any celebrity to come be there and try to, to help spotlight this, this of course, um, and uh, tag in everything. Oh, tagging Sussex Royal. Uh, it, it just, it all just bugs me. It all bugs me that they're not doing this charitable work for the actual sake of being charitable. To me, they're doing it for PR. And as you go and see all these, these headlines coming in, ooh, look at her. With it's just really bothers me. And it only amplifies my thoughts when you really listen to what Lady C has to say and read her book about how Megan uses her race to her advantage to be more popular. In fact, Lady C is going to put down some interesting theories such as the royal family would have never, ever, ever even humored or considered Megan as a rightful suitor for Harry if she had been white. 
Uh, you're not going to miss all the fire that Lady C is about to drop. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Lots are coming. Thank you so much for watching this. What do you think? Are you surprised to see them there? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below and stay tuned for tomorrow's video.